Alright, Bill Young here again. I want to show you real quick how to put these rubber band racers together. They're real simple, easy to do for kids. We've done them with pre-K kids, kindergarten kids, and on up. So, this is all the parts you need. These are the pieces that are cut with the CNC machine, with the shop bot. So we've got two racer halves, you've got two back wheels, and a front wheel. Then you've got a series of dowels. You've got a half inch dowel that's about seven inches long. And it depends on whether you cut them out of a three foot piece of dowel or a four foot length of dowel. And it's in instructions, you know, what length to cut them to optimize the material. You've got a quarter inch dowel, you've got a three inch piece, a two inch piece, and a one inch piece. And then a short length, about three quarters of an inch of eight inch dowel. And it, it's the pin that goes in the axle. So we're gonna start, oh, so, so tools. So you need a mallet, a beater of some kind. Um, you need some glue. I use this, um, like this Tight Bond 3 glue, but any kind of carpenter's glue will work. This has a pretty long assembly time, so it doesn't stick really fast. So you got some time to work. Um, you're going to need some Apollo rubber bands. I use these number 64 rubber bands. You can get an office supply place. They work real well. Um, they're good at office supply places because they're usually pretty fresh. They sell a lot of them. When they get old, they get brittle. Um, you need some sandpaper if you want to sand the edges a little bit. Just it doesn't take much. You're not making a, a, a Chippendale dining room table, but just kind of knock the fuzz off of it. Um, I use a little these little brushes, these little welders, acid wash brushes. They're cheap for spreading glue. Um, I buy them by the gross. 144 of them. They're real cheap. Any welding supply place will have it. You can get it from Amazon. And then for pounding. I use a block of wood sort of as an anvil. You don't have to, but it helps protect the surface you're working on. And I drill a hole in it, just any particular size, as long as it's bigger than a quarter inch. And I'll show you what this uses, but it works real well. This is just a piece of scrap two by six. So we're going to start by putting the front wheel assembly together. So you got the smaller of the wheels, and you want the three inch piece of quarter inch dowel. And start it in the hole. And you want to drive this through so it's equal amount on both sides. And that's where this kind of anvil comes in handy. So I can just set it over there, set the hole over it, and just tap along. Look at it every once in a while. It's still short on this side. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can use a tape measure, anything to measure with if you want. You can use your finger. Finger works really well. So kind of stick it on one side, flip it around, and that's pretty close. So that's good enough, in my opinion. Um, so, you also want to put a rubber band around for a tire, and this can actually be kind of a struggle. But, you know, just be careful with it, and it'll, it'll stay on there, and once you put the front wheel in place, it doesn't, um, it's hard to get that rubber band on, so you want to do that first. And if you get any little bit of little fuzz on the ends of the axles from um, cutting it off, just kind of hit them with a little bit of sandpaper. Um, so we'll set that aside. So that now we're going to put glue in the... Um, the two halves together. So this, these two halves have one side that doesn't have grooves in it and one side that does. And those grooves go together. They're the inside pieces. And you want to be careful not to get glue in the grooves. So you want to avoid sort of this area around here and also back here. Just don't, don't, you don't, if you get glue down in there then the wheels won't turn well. So just try to avoid that kind of stuff. Um, like I said, I use, a little, I use this tight bond glue and I put just a little dot on these two ends, be careful with that, and then sort of a squirt down here, a squirt down here. You can build them without the glue if you want, especially if your dowels are tight. But you, um, so I just take it and smear it around with the paper, with the, with the brush. These brushes are disposable and it really doesn't take much, you know, the, if you get just the right amount then you won't have a bunch squeezing out and getting all over everything. But all these glues are water soluble. Water. So if you get it on you, you can take it right back. You can wash it right back off with water. So I was real careful not to get it in the grooves. So we drop the front wheel in. It spins nice and freely. Flip the other piece over right on top of it. And then we'll use our anvil and some dowels to assemble it. So the first part, we want the longest dowel the, the um, two-inch dowel and it goes in the front by the front wheel 
and just kind of line things up, give it a tap, and you want to tap it until it's flush on the other side. One more whack. That looks right. The shorter, the last one inch piece of dowel goes in the back here. And that, get, that just gets driven flush. If you glue, if you decide to glue it, then put a handful of rubber bands around just to act as clamps. If you've got clamps, great, put clamps on it. But it may take a lot of them, and if you do, if you're working with a bunch of kids, you probably don't have enough clamps for all that. So um, put a couple of rubber bands around, let it dry, let the glue set. Maybe a couple up here on the end, and just. Lock it back on itself, cross them over a couple times. And so we're going to imagine that this is a cooking show. And we put it in the oven and miraculously it comes back out and the glue's all set. So we pop the rubber bands off and it's just like magic. Usually it takes a couple of hours for this glue to set. so. So next we're going to build the back axle. So we've got the one wheel, put the two inch, put the uh, half inch dowel in, tap it in tight. Slip it through this axle hole, this pocket here. Make sure everything spins. If, there, if some glue got in there, a couple of good spins will take care of it. Stand it up, put the other half on, the other wheel on, line up the pocket. If your dowels fit good, you don't need to put any glue in here. But if you want to, you can put a little bit of glue in that pocket before you put it together. And the last step is to take this little bitty dowel, put it in the hole in the axle, and give it a tap. And you're good to go. So, paint it, do whatever you want. Oh yeah, put rubber bands on the back wheels. I already got one on one wheel. Um, they just act as tires so you get better traction when you let go. Um, they can be replaced easy. If you, if you forget to do them, don't worry about it. So, to power this thing, I take two rubber bands, put one through the other, and then hook it back on itself. So you've got a connect, two connected rubber bands. Hook one on here, one on this dowel, and start winding. And just run it backwards, just keep winding, winding, winding. Don't look straight down it just in case the rubber band breaks, it's not going to it, it's, it stays in place pretty well. And then when you're ready to go, set it down on the ground, let it go. If you really want to have some extra power, take two more rubber bands, link them together exactly like the first one, hook them on, and you get two engines now. Um, the tricky part with this is you don't want the rubber band to catch, the, to catch on the pin. So as you're winding, it's going to want to catch. See how it's caught on that pin there? You've got to kind of spread them apart a little bit. And it's a little bit tricky, but not, you know, you just be, be cautious as you're doing it. If not, it'll catch, and then when it unwinds, it'll go backwards halfway around. Let's see if I did this right. There you go. So you just get a little more power that way. But that's all it is. Now take it, sand it. Clean up the edges a little bit, paint it, stick some vinyl stickers on it, do whatever you want. It's all ready to go.